Welcome back to Houston Life. Tomorrow, the Bayou City Art Festival kicks off in Memorial Park. You can check out the one-of-a-kind artwork. Plus, there is so much more for the kids, the whole family to check out. It is a great place to hang out with friends as well. Yeah, and the event benefits six local nonprofits. Bayou City Art Festival board member Mary Paulette is here, along with Dewey James, this year's featured artist. Congratulations. Thank Dewey. you. Dewey, so what, what does it take to become a featured artist? <laughs> I, I'd like to know. <laughs> they called me out of the blue, and I was absolutely thrilled. I mean, it, the Bayou shows are the best of the best mm -hmm. in the festivals in the country. So just to be, you know, it's an honor for sure. Well, and thank you for noticing that we are the best of the best because this festival, in case you're wondering, in the fall, it's at uh, it's downtown. The springtime is Memorial Park. Right. Right. And these aren't just local artists. The artists really come from all over the world, right, Ab Mary? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it is a juried show, and we have about a thousand artists to apply and 300 get accepted and then from those 300 the jury goes around and ultimately picks the featured artist mm. so you can see that it's quite a competitive yeah. <laughs> event to be selected it really is and they are really are the best of the best artists you're going to see there. I mean, it's amazing and great food, great entertainment. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah, when I first moved to Houston, I used to run at Memorial Park, and I didn't know what this was until I literally ran into this art festival. <laughs> yes. It's phenomenal, and I think it's just grown every single year. And it's not just art. It's There's so much more because right. it's an entire festival. What else can people it's, expect? It's a, it, there's, I think, 17 different categories of art. So you can talk about clothing, jewelry, you know, paintings, digital photography, everything. But there's also music, including the KPRC stage. Mm. So <laughs> give you a little, a little shout out. I love that. Yeah, yeah there's shout Hitch. Out. And uh, there is the interactive imagination zone for children and young. Well, if you're an adult and you just want to play with stuff, that's, that's also <laughs> a good place, too. We do have the middle school art project finalist on display, which is a huge thing for it's a big us. Deal. It's a very big deal. And so you will be able to see the top 30 out of about 400 that applied in middle school, young kids. And you'll see the winners at that point, the top three. So much to see and take home, I should add, because <laughs> yeah. over the years, I'm like, Brandon, we need to move to a different house. Because <laughs> we don't have wall Brandon space for it. Uh, do we talk about uh, the different styles of artwork that inspire you? Because your work here, I was telling you during mm -hmm. break, I was on your website earlier, and what you do, I've never seen anything quite like it. How do you describe your style? Well, you know, it's it's got a little vintage edge, it, you know, and I what I love to do is tell stories. I'm a storyteller, visual storyteller, and so when I'm putting my pieces together, I start from that background and I'm just kind of figuring what does that environment look like and who's in that environment? What pieces bring out the story in that environment? And then I come, this is what it comes up with. You know, it's, it's a layered piece um, and they all, as I say, all have stories behind them. So. What I love is in talking to the artist, you learn so much more about the piece because sometimes you see it one way and the artist can sort of explain mm -hmm. their vision. How about for people attending the festival? They get to actually meet and interact with the artist. How cool is that? That is very cool because a lot of places you'll just see reprints, things that people have done, and they ship it over and someone else sells it. The artist has to be on site. So if you buy a piece, you'll be able to talk to Dewey and say, okay, tell me what you were thinking of when you did this piece and help you interpret what they were thinking. But you may, as a patron, be able to say, Oh my gosh, that's not what it all, and I didn't see that at all. I, love I didn't that. see it. I love that about art as well because I'll sit back in my booth and I'll listen to people talk about different pieces of mine, and it's a completely different story. <laughs> and I think, I never thought of that, but wow. how interesting. Cool for how both. Unique. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And every time we look at the pieces of art on the wall, I'm sure for a lot of your clients, they, they have that story and that memory uh, to, to remind them. Okay, before ladies, we let you go, we do want to chat about the event details. So again, mm -hmm. it is springtime, which means the Bayou City Art Festival happens at Memorial Park. Beautiful, beautiful backdrop, backdrop for this festival. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 24th through the 26th. Gates open at 10 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. Again, everything for the entire family. Uh, it starts tomorrow and goes through Sunday. For tickets and information, you can visit BayouCityArtFestival.com or call 713-521-0133. There are um, VIP hospitality lounge tickets available as well, right. Mary? Yes, there are. I think there's a few left. So if you want the VIP with some parking and 
uh, food and all kinds of things, you need to buy those tickets now. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And you do have to buy your tickets in advance, so the website is perfect, bayoucityartfestival.com. Okay, all right. So buy your tickets now. The puppies are excited about the Bayou City Art Festival. Yes. <laughs>